Hello everybody. So for anybody who doesn't know me, um, my name's Lisa and I'm the Mummy Whisperer. Now I'm just gonna share this into a couple of groups. Now I specialize in helping mums. Mainly I help um, business owner mums and anxious, stressed, overwhelmed mums. Hello Shelley. Right, I just got to share into my other group before I forget. And then we can get started. I'm really excited to tell you <clears throat> all about today. Um, basically, for those of you who watch my TikToks and all the rest of it, I have had a few weeks off. Right, let me just share. Options, share to a group. There we go. Right, so yes, I had a few weeks off. Um, I just needed some time to process, a pile of stuff, um, get a lot of stuff done as well. Um, and when I was off, this, I'm really excited, um, six step process came to me. And it's because I've seen so many people on social media everywhere, just talking about how stuck they are, whether they're stuck in their business, not attracting enough clients, or stuck in their relationships, stuck at home, in lockdown, stuck with the kids, homeschooling, um, just so much stuckness. Um, and so, and I was thinking about my lovely ladies in my business club and what unsticks people. And that's where I came up with these six steps. Because, you know, when I look back at what what's needs to be done in, to, in order to get people unstuck, it's quite obviously these six steps. So today I'm going to tell you all about these six steps. And then I'm going to... Um, tell you about a, a special thing coming up as well because just me telling you about the six steps may be enough but a few of you might actually need a little bit of assistance going through with them and I have got like the most amazing option it's like a um, masterclass on steroids really really cool anyway first let's talk about this idea of feeling really really stuck and how you leap up and how you get yourself up and it's it's really interesting when you feel stuck, so you have a situation in your life that is very, very stuck and therefore you start thinking really, really stuck thoughts. And when a thought comes into your brain, your brain just accepts it as true. Hardly any of us actually question our thoughts. So the minute the thought comes in, the brain releases the chemicals that match it and hence you feel really, really stuck. And it goes vice versa. You get so used to feeling really, really stuck that then you start having really, really stuck thoughts and it's a bit chicken and egg and it just goes round and round and round. And so it becomes a really self-fulfilling prophecy. So where you were just stuck in one place, lockdown, homeschooling and so on. Hey Zoe, lovely to see you. So yeah, so where you were just stuck in one place, like lockdown and homeschooling and all the rest of it, that stuck feeling starts to really overtake you and starts to affect the rest of your life as well. And it's fascinating. Uh, only if you're a bit of a geek like me. But it's fascinating how how we feel then often feels in our body. So if you are feeling really, really stuck in your life, often your body then feels really, really stuck. That um, adds to people like struggling to lose weight, um, struggling in their relationships, struggling to move things forward with the kids. And then with business, of course, it can get so disheartening, so disheartening to be stuck and not making any progress at all. It's just really uncomfortable, really, really scary. It makes you question yourself, lose confidence. And in business, basically, you have got to keep yourself on an even keel. You've got to keep managing the good days without getting overexcited and over overreacting about it and manage the bad days um, and not get bogged down and pulled down by them. So that's how stuckness, which is sort of a minor thing, can become so unbelievably all consuming. And that's of course why so many people are also feeling very, very down, potentially heading into like very anxious, very stressed, and then potentially heading more into like depressions and stuff like that. Fully, fully understand. Now, 
So before I start telling you about my um, the six steps to get yourself unstuck um, and also my offer, um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit, just a bit of a reality check about what we're talking about. Okay, life is a journey. Life is a journey. Life is a journey. And when I say you're going to get unstuck, there is a natural path to it. Now I get very frustrated. Please don't think that I'm all like, yes, yes, I'm really happy to take each step very, very slowly. No, actually, no, I'm not. No, I get really frustrated and have to rein myself in. Understanding that life is a journey and there are certain steps. This is why last week I did come on, I had two weeks off, but I did come on last week and have a little bit of a rant about business coaches that sell these. There's one in particular at the moment that's selling a become a coach um, and buy my formula and you can then have 10k months. No, as I said, no you can't. There's quite obviously steps, steps to um, getting to understand what big coaching is, working with clients, realising you want to work in packages, getting experience about how you work, creating your own uniqueness, and then 10k months, right? Yeah, 10k months is not impossible, but there are steps. It's the same steps in uh, losing weight. You know, you'll, you'll lose weight to a certain degree, then you'll plateau, then you'll have, you want to learn something else. Maybe you've got, maybe you've lost weight, but you still need to actually get fitter and stronger. There's, there's, a journey yeah in our own personal development I mean well especially when you're 50 like me there's so much stuff to clear out and heal and it's a constant process so whenever I've and I'm constantly I'm like one of those constantly working on yourself kind of people I'm constantly doing it but I'm never done um this one of the, one of the really really famous um kind of coaches for money um Denise Duffield Thomas even she says, whilst she talks a lot about money mindset, she's constantly working on it herself. It keeps coming up. Every time she gets to a new level of earning, she reaches a new mindset that she has to actually juggle and work out and sort out, okay? So when I say that I'm gonna help you leap, I have designed these six steps and designed my masterclass to work in a way that is reproducible because you're gonna leap up, but then you're gonna to need to leap again one day. And then one day you're going to need to leap again. And that's the most important thing to understand. Right, okay. So let's get back to stuckness. And what do we do about stuckness? Then the really important thing to understand in all areas of life is that you need movement and you need momentum. Okay, so you, everything needs movement and momentum. Um, the body needs circulation, it needs us to keep moving in order for it to function properly, otherwise it kind of just shrivels up and everything starts to go wrong, okay? Any illness basically needs more circulation in the body. It's one of the huge lessons I learned from my fibromyalgia and Lyme disease. Um, when you're stuck in your work, you want to move and you want to get momentum going, but of course you want to be moving in the right direction. The same with your health. You don't want to be just running off. It's, it's, less, it's not about reacting when you're stuck, it's about listening to the stuckness and then getting the ball moving and so on. So that's really important aspect of feeling very, very stuck is doing something about it. Whilst being is really, really important, we also have to do. So let's get to the six steps. Step one is analyze the situation. So that's how I tackle everything. When a couple of weeks ago, I had some bad news that really, really shook me. Um, I, I sat there for a while. You, you can't just, you know, get over these things. I sat there for a while, but as I started to come out of it, it opens your eyes up, it gives you perspective on life. And that's what it gave me. And so I looked at my situation because everybody is always going to want to move up a level, including me, okay? So, so yeah, so I looked at my situation. So step one is to analyze your current situation um, and look at, um, you know, where are you at? Why are you there? What do you need to do about it? Um, what do you want to change? What do you actually want to change? And I really recommend that although you may have many areas of your life that you want to unstick, that you 
focus on one at a time because that's more likely to be successful. And if you just focus on one, I bet you that unsticking that area will then filter in into everything else. So my big piece of advice is if you're feeling very, very stuck, then just focus on one area or one thing. If your business is very stuck, I wouldn't even just focus on your business. I would focus on one part of your business, one service, one product, one thing, and get that unstuck first. And then everything else will kind of filter out. Okay, so that's step one. Step one is really important, is actually thinking through what, before you go blasting off, what do you actually want to change? What, at, how did you get there? What's going on? Okay. So then the next step is we start to look at the mental blocks that are stopping you from moving forwards. Because ironically, we all just get stuck by mental blocks. Our, our ego side loves stability, loves the status quo, it knows, what, knows what's going on here. It's much less keen on going elsewhere. So it's holding on to all sorts of beliefs and thoughts and so on that aren't categorically true. You couldn't 100% prove them and often you've got thoughts about yourself which you wouldn't have about other people that other people don't have about you so this is about questioning why you're feeling safer to stay where you are and I know that's very challenging but that's what's going on and um, what um, pressures and thoughts are keeping you there okay so then when you've shifted those through then what you want to do is energetically is have a jolly good clear out energetically basically um so you can have healing you can do healing meditations that's what i do because obviously i've been a healer for 20 years um any work i ever do with people is a, always a combination of practical work and healing work and knowledge right so that for me the combination of those three things is just really, 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 really important to get a balanced approach. So the the healing work will clear the energy blocks, you know, that are there getting in your way. And then, very practically, you'll now look at things quite differently. You've cleared the mental blocks, you've cleared the energy blocks, things will look different. So now you look at it practically and you think through, well, okay, so what... What actually does need to be changed? What do I need to do? Do I, is the reason I'm not moving forward because I need some more skills? Um, am I not focused enough? Do I actually need some help with staying focused? Or um, do I need some advice um, to brainstorm what to do next? Maybe I need to talk to a professional if it was weight loss, if it was, if it was business, maybe you need to talk to somebody. Um, or maybe it's perfectionism. Perfectionism can set, keep us staying still without moving on so much. So that's the practical stage of it all. Um, and then when you've got through that, you then create a really clear vision of where you want to go and what you want to achieve. Because you need to be clear on what your aim is. It's like having a goal, but it's slightly different. A clear vision of where you're going towards is, is um, inspiring. Yeah. Um, and then finally, the final thing is consistent daily focus and action. You know, what you may have all of this change, you may have all of these shifts, but to get it embedded in, you need to be taking consistent daily action for a period of time until, until it becomes habit, until it, and, until it becomes your new reality. Okay, so that is the, the six steps. Um, very simple, very obvious, actually. And I can see in all of the ladies in my business club who've done so well, how they um, repeatedly shift through this process. So that's why I wanted to share it with you. Now, some of you may be thinking, that's brilliant, and you'll be able, it'll give you enough, you'll be able to go off and do that yourself. You'll go, yes. That totally makes sense. I've been doing all of that, but I missed that one step. I've been doing all that, but I missed that one bit. That sort of thing. But some of you may decide that you would really like some help with that. And I have some good news for you because I have put this all into a, a really, really easy two hour masterclass that I'm going to be running in a couple of weeks on February the 23rd. Um, so it's really affordable because it's just a masterclass. 
So you'll get, anybody who decides that they want to go for it, you'll get um, a little questionnaire to start off with for the preparation. And this is, this is not just a masterclass, this is a masterclass on steroids because of the six steps and I want to make sure that you get the sixth step. So, you, anybody who is interested, you will get the questionnaire to start off with. We'll do the two-hour masterclass. You'll get plenty of times to ask questions. It will include um, some healing as well, for the energetic blocks. Um, it will include... A, oh, there we go. I'm back again. Um, and apparently it got cut off. Hopefully it's back. Right. Yes, so it will include... Um, sorting through your mental blocks, uh, healing, um, some Q&A on the practicalities of what you might need to do, um, journaling, your new vision. And most importantly, the reason this is a very unusual masterclass is because it has a follow on seven days in a WhatsApp group um, so that we can get you into the habit of taking um, consistent action for seven days. Right? That's that's what's so, so important. So this isn't just um, a masterclass. This is a masterclass on, on steroids, like I said. So um, anybody who's interested, please just message below me, please. Um, I want to leap, something like that. And I will send you the, um, the link for it. Um, I realised I want to give a reward to the first, 10 people to jump on. So um, I'm gonna have a little think about what that is. So if you're catching this on the replay, um, come back, put your comment in saying I want to leap and then put, um, I'll let you know what the, what the reward is for the first 10 people who jump onto the masterclass. And over the next couple of weeks, I'm gonna tell you loads more about why it's so important and, and what gets in the way of leaping and so on. So please do share with any friends that you know could really do with a little bit of assistance because they're very, very stuck. Remember, this will be completely reusable. You'll get sent afterwards a workbook with all of the, um, the masterclass, um, extra notes, um, and everything that you need so that you can then reuse it over and over and over and over again as well. Great, I am so excited. I'm so looking forward to helping loads and loads of people take a really big step into the into life, a new life, new vision. Um, so just let me know in the comments and I look forward to hearing you all. Bye.